you voted to see Mimikyu Fusions. So this is supposed to be the Mimikyu episode, but you guys love Miltank and can't get enough. So here we are, again, with Miltank Fusion. That is so much worse than anything I could have imagined. Does that say Pilk? Is there Pepsi in that milk? I would drink- I, Okay, yeah, I, okay, I admit it, I admit it. I would drink it, okay? Stop. So both of these Pokemon's gimmick is that they have a hand somewhere hidden inside of their body. Okay, that adds up, okay. You, you think you're so clever, Jace. I want to know what team it's rooting for, personally. It looks like I could beat it with a hammer and it would feel nothing. I'm very excited about this one. The sprite preview looked super cute. Oh my god. Can I show this on stream? I don't know what I was expecting, but it was not this. I'm being told the reverse is better. At least it doesn't have a noose, right? I mean, easily the cutest Pokemon. Two of them put together should be the cutest thing I've ever seen. All I can think of is Gigantamax Pikachu who goes, Pee. I was always a big Torterra guy. I just like the bonsai tree. This is the stunt double that they used for Torterra in Detective Pikachu. I mean, after seeing the Mew fusions, I don't think it could get much worse. I hope that I'm right. That is the coolest fusion we have seen all day, first and foremost. I want to know more about it. There's a story here. Don't say he's taking a shit. I can't unsee the shit now. Mag Cargo has some silly ones. And that's a tire. Is that trash? Is this just trash? This is a regional Garbodar. Somebody just tied together all the junk that you can fish out of the water in Animal Crossing. I would love to see this turn into one of those traditional Chinese dragons that they have at parades. I think that'd be very unique to see. Oh my god, I was right! I've never seen this fusion before! I promise I've never seen this sprite before. I'm so- I'm just so excited about being right. I haven't said anything in like 30 seconds. Let's see the reverse. Is that a wacky waving inflatable tube man? It is a wacky waving inflatable tube man! And Lorelei, hey. When I think about mammoths, the first thing I think about is Ice Age. So in the deepest parts of my soul, I want an Ice Age reference. This looks like Dawn Fan wearing a Snuggie. That is not Ice Age. I don't know if the face is supposed to be like a portal. Is it supposed to be a void? Are those supposed to be stars? I have too many questions. Someone earlier in my chat said that all Mimikyu fusions look like bad cosplays, and I can't get it out of my head. This looks like 75% of all furries at a convention. That's a bad cosplay. Hopefully the reverse is less furry. I love it. All the ones that are in the Mimikyu style are so cute. I don't think they've missed yet, but everything that takes on the other Pokemon's form is so incredibly cursed. I will never forgive Game Freak for ruining Typhlosion. After Gen 5, they didn't give him flames. This is cool. I like how the flames are stitched on. Everything's stitched on. Why did I say that? That's the whole point of the fusion. I like the tail. The tail's cool. Let's see the reverse. Oh, this one's much smaller. I like that a lot. I love the color palette in this. I know it's just Typhlosion's color palette, but it's utilized really well here. This is one of the cutest ones we've seen all day. Although, I can't help but think it looks like the blue badger from Ace Attorney. It was the first thing I noticed. I like the idea of this fusion because Retchy Gigas is already old and decrepit. So I like the idea of one of those being possessed. I like that. It looks like a robot that was being put together by a child. The arm sockets are buttons. I really like this fusion though. I think this is one of my favorites for today. Let's see the reverse. So much more haunting than I was ready for. When I said I wanted to see a decrepit giant be possessed, this is what I was talking about. It's spooky, it's eerie. Those are both synonyms of each other. I'm gonna stop listing things. I would love it if this fusion was just three balls of yarn, like on top of a blanket, because that's kind of what Doug Trio shaped like. Paper towel rolls inside of a potato sack? Not what I was expecting. I like that they went with a potato sack. Not crazy about the paper towel rolls. There's still a little bit of paper towel on the one on the right. Oh, don't tell me it was toilet paper. Is that toilet paper? I've got a riddle for you, chat. What do you get when you take a cosplayer and mix it with Satan? You get... That. Phantom head crab are the first words that come to mind. Look how proud he is down there, though. I do really like this fusion, jokes aside. It's unique, it's a little funny, it's cute, and it's menacing. It, it checks all the boxes for me. Good job. Earlier in this stream, I guessed the Gyarados fusion correctly. I hope I'm right again when I say I think this is just gonna be a pile of yarn. Like threads of yarn. That's spaghetti. I could not have been further from a pile of yarn. Yarn eaters, sound off in the comments. Stunfisk is so doofy looking. Can I just say, Mimikyu is so cute, and then Stunfisk's eyes are coding two different ways. A platypus? 
Maybe cute with the platypus. You freaks want to take all the cute Pokemon and fuse them with the horny ones. Lopunny, Gardevoir, Vaporeon, get it together. I'm so glad someone suggested this. That's so cute. Let's see the reverse. Whoa, calm down there, Jeff Dunham. I don't like the color palette on this one. I'm not going to lie. If you're watching this on TikTok right now, shout out to you. That's cute, except for the chest nose. Let's see the reverse. Wood. Something, something, teddy bear. There's no way this isn't a teddy bear, right? It's a Teddy Ursa bear. I need 19 of these Amazon Primes to my house overnight. I am not taking questions at this time. I think this is the cutest one we've seen all day. There's got to be something cooler I could say than let's see the reverse every single time, right? Is that Urshifu? Isn't this that one League of Legends character? Annie, I think? I don't know. I don't play League of Legends. I'm cool. This one's really interesting to me because Mimikyu is already Pikachu's biggest fan. Only a little bit haunting. I'm going to have approximately two nightmares about this sprite. At the aquarium near me, there are plushies of hammerhead sharks. And I am praying to God that this fusion is as cute as that because I'm expecting a plushie Garchomp. Yep, looks just like that. In fact, I think the plushies at my local aquarium are modeled after this sprite. It goes without saying that Kakuna is shaped very uniquely. So I'm really hoping that this fusion is not what I think it's going to be. That's way cuter than what I thought it was going to be. We don't have to talk about my expectations for this fusion because they're blown away. Look at the little bee drill. Did we not just learn our lesson with Kakuna? You went from something phallic to something... Never mind. If I say what I'm thinking, they'll ban me for 10 days. This looks like my pasta crawled out of the pan. Sure, let's look at the reverse. Why not? What have I got to lose? Is that better or worse? Forbidden toilet. I will not elaborate. I think it's a long shot, but I hope these two fuse into an armor stand from Minecraft. Close! Actually close! This is how I feel when I put on chainmail armor. <laughs> so Mimikyu fusions are usually puppets, and Porygon line fusions are usually digital. NFT? Is that a bong? What am I looking at? Is that one of those dippy birds that you see on office desks? Show me the reverse. All you money are belong to us. It's malware. I'm clicking OK and nothing is happening. Minus $5,000. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I know 5K was way too high. I misplaced uh, the decimal point a couple, couple spots. If Mimikyu in and of itself is already a funny hat and Slowking is wearing a funny hat, is this going to be a pile of TF2 hats? Not quite, but I like the direction they took it. The tail is Driftwood. There's a life preserver around its neck. It, that's a tall boy. That's a tall Mimikyu. And then it's got a shelter on his head. I think I like it. Let's see the reverse. That's actually pretty cute. I wasn't on board at first, but the more I look at it, it just grows on me. I just, I really like this one. Is it a hot take to say that this is my favorite form of Rotom? The new Pokédex one with the hands skeeves me out. I'm disturbed, yet impressed. I like this. I would have liked to see the TV static look better, but in terms of pixels, I think this is the best they could do. Pass from me. Not like Smasher Pass. I, I meant like it gets a pass. Show me the reverse. Also subscribe. Is that a broken light bulb? Shoved in a pile of sweet potatoes? What is going on? What is this? Roku. That was bunk. That was bunk. This one's really interesting to me because Spirit Tomb's base and Mimikyu's body are the same shape. So I'm really excited to see what they can come up with. The rock is haunted. I really like this. I like the color palette. I like this sprite a lot. It's very menacing. What a unique idea. I like this a lot. Show me the reverse. And I'm not asking. This one's got to be cute, right? The other one was menacing. This one has to be cute. I don't like it. You know what is cute? Whoever likes and follows and subscribes and sends me money. There are still a ton of cool fusions that didn't make the cut, but let me know in the comments if you'd like to see another video like this. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it because I upload every single Monday. Last week's video has some seriously insane fusions, so make sure to check those out if you missed them. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.